Hello everyone, I'm Deacon Pedro, and welcome to this special edition of Faith in a Time of Crisis. Over the last couple of weeks, bishops and Episcopal conferences from around the world have been consecrating their countries to Our Lady, and now it's our turn. But what's unique is that both our countries, the United States and Canada, will be doing their consecration together this Friday, May 1st. And to tell us all about it, I'm now joined by two bishops, Archbishop Richard Gagnon of Winnipeg, and Archbishop Jose Gomez of Los Angeles. Welcome both. Thank you. Thank you very much for the invitation. Archbishop uh, Gagnon, let's begin with you. For people who are not familiar with the Marian consecration, what exactly is taking place uh, this Friday, May 1st? Well, on Friday, uh, May 1st, um, we're going to consecrate um, our country of Canada at this time of the COVID-19 crises and all the various challenges and needs that are present in our community. And um, I'll be joined, uh, I'll be representing the bishops of Canada as president of the CCCB. And uh, individual bishops will do the same in their dioceses and parish priests and laity as well. So we dedicate uh, to our Blessed Lady uh, the care of our country through her prayers of intercession. Right. And uh, so, Archbishop Gomez, how does it work? How does a consecration work? Uh, the idea, uh, in, uh, uh, we are working together, the Conference of Bishops of the United States and Conference of Bishops of Canada, uh, because we thought that it was important to uh, uh, represent uh, North America uh, mm -hmm. in, this, uh, in this consecration. So the idea in the United States is similar. We are going to have, I'm uh, going to have the, uh, the consecration their prayer consecration here in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles and bishops in other dioceses are, are some of them are going to do it in their diocese. And I think the, uh, the, as, as the Archbishop was saying, the idea is during this challenging time to ask the intercession of Mary, our Blessed Mother, uh, 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 to intercede for us and help us in this challenging time. Uh, uh, as practically speaking, it's going to be uh, some prayers, uh, some uh, singing and music, and uh, the prayer of the rosary, and a beautiful prayer uh, of consecration that we work together, uh, 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 the Conference of Bishops of, Cali of uh, Canada and the United States. Right. So there is a prayer of consecration. And, and of course, we're going to make that prayer available on our website, saltandlighttv.org. It's also available, uh, obviously, on the websites of both Episcopal conferences. Um, Archbishop uh, Gagnon, uh, Archbishop Gomez just mentioned that it was important that both countries come together for this event. Why, why is that significant? Why is it so important that this consecration is done, the two countries together? Well, that's a very interesting question. I, I think, first of all, both countries share a lot in common and uh, in the life of the church as well. You know, there, there's much communication between the church in Canada and the church in the United States. And uh, the way this kind of evolved uh, was that uh, uh, both Episcopal conferences felt that it might be a good idea to join our hearts and minds in faith in this uh, consecration to our Blessed Lady of our mutual countries. Mm -hmm. And so I think we, we share a common reality culturally and socially uh, on many different levels. So it, it seems to be a, a natural thing to do between ourselves. We're close, close countries, and the churches, too, are close together. Is this historic? Is this? Do you know if this is the first time that something like this happens between both Episcopal conferences? That's a good question. I, I don't know historically if it has happened before. I personally have never heard of this, so it may be a first. If it is, well, so much the better. <laughs> that, that, that's that's a, a wonderful thing. Archbishop Gomez, uh, a lot of our uh, viewers will know that uh, Our Lady of Guadalupe is she's the patron of uh, all the Americas, and uh, both Canada and the United States also have the patronage of Mary under different invocations. 
Um, but but maybe some people are not familiar with what a Marian consecration is. Can you explain to us a little bit about the the meaning of a Marian consecration? Uh, how does it work? Maybe what is the teaching behind? Because um, it's been done. I know it might have been done in in our countries before. Uh, it's sometimes the Pope has consecrated the whole world to Mary. Um, so explain to us a little bit about the teaching behind a Marian consecration. Well, it's been a, a historical tradition in the church. Uh, uh, in the United States, uh, it was done a long time ago, uh, uh, special consecration to the uh, Immaculate Conception of our Blessed Mother. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think many, as, as you said, many different uh, conference of bishops and countries and, and the Holy Father, uh, uh, all the Holy, I mean, a lot of the Holy Fathers have done that historically. And I think it is, it's a beautiful sign of the love and devotion that we have to our Blessed Mother. Mm -hmm. And here, uh, 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 how can I say it? Uh, primacy in a sense of uh, intercessor for all of us uh, in the world, in the church. Mm -hmm. So I think it, uh, this specific consecration, I think uh, um, we were thinking about it, given the current circumstances of the uh, uh, coronavirus pandemic, and also the example of Pope Francis. Mm -hmm. He just uh, 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 sent a beautiful letter uh, recently uh, uh, asking people to pray the rosary during the month of May, and two beautiful prayers. So it was, I think, an encourage for all of us, uh, especially in, 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 the, in the United States and Canada, to do it right now for this month of May. Then, as you know, there was also in Mexico, in Mexico, uh, the conference, uh, the uh, uh, conference of the Episcopal Co Conference of Mexico, and also CELAM, the Episcopal yes. Conference of Latin America, they uh, decided to do a consecration to Our Lady of Guadalupe on Easter Sunday. Yes. So I, I think it's happening, as you said, all over the the world, and I think it is a special moment, given the challenging situation that we are living to us. Uh, the intercession of Mary and Blessed Mother. It makes sense, no? I mean, you are having a challenge, you go to your mother. So yes. I think it's beautiful. Yes. And it also explains why we're not doing this consecration together with Mexico, if it's meant to be a North American consecration. But Mexico already did it with the rest of Latin America because they, they belong to the same Episcopal conference. Archbishop Gagnon, um, for people who uh, maybe are not able to watch the consecration uh, on television or listen to it on the radio, uh, are they able to participate uh, at home? How can people participate at home during the consecration? I think that uh, during this time of the COVID-19 crisis, uh, you know, we have in Canada, and I'm sure also in the United States, uh, encouraging people, you know, uh, at home, where they're living in this kind of a lockdown reality, uh, to think carefully about the family as a domestic church, uh, the home itself as a bosom of faith, you know, the smallest unit of the church is the family. And so encouraging prayer, encouraging spiritual communion is something uh, that has been going on now ever since this pandemic started. And so with the consecration to our Blessed Lady, it's a continuation of intercessory prayer. Uh, for Catholics, it's very intuitive. As Archbishop Gomez says, we go to the Mother, and uh, our spiritual mother is our Blessed Lady. I was very uh, pleased to see that both conferences uh, chose the short passage from the Gospel of John chapter 19, where our Lord uh, gives uh, his mother to John and, and, and John to his mother, an act of our Lord. There's your, first, uh, there's your first consecration right there on the cross, you know? And so this continues in a, in a very noble way what we have been encouraging. The family is a domestic church. That's where faith begins. That's where faith grows. And uh, so hopefully many families will join us in this as well. Mm -hmm. Archbishop Gomez, um, for people who are maybe uh, wondering if they're not able to uh, watch it on TV or listen to it on the radio, uh, uh, will the prayer be available so that they can maybe do the prayer at home if a family wants to do the prayer of consecration on their own? I, I know some people ask some legalistic questions. Is that something that they're allowed to do? How, how can they participate from home? Absolutely. Yeah. Obviously, the prayers are going to be uh, in the uh, I suppose in the web page of the uh, conferences of bishops, yes, and and they have access to that. And I think as uh, as Archbishop Gagnon was saying, uh, the family is the first 
uh, basic ecclesial community. So I think it is important for the families to do it together. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so if they cannot physically, uh, virtually participate uh, mm -hmm. on the uh, consecration, I think it's, it is beautiful if they can do it together as a family. Uh, and the month of May is the month of Mary, so it's a wonderful, wonderful time to do it. Absolutely, and maybe it's a prayer that people can do not just on May 1st, but every day throughout the month of May. Um, Archbishop Gomez, just before we end, it's always good for us to hear from our bishops, from, from our shepherds, especially words of hope and encouragement, and, and those are words that we need to hear at this time. Are there any uh, special words of hope that you would like to leave our viewers with? Sure, I, I think these are challenging times, but we have to uh, remember that, uh, that uh, God is with us, and uh, with the help of the grace of God, we can overcome this challenging situation. And then we have the intercession of Mary, our Blessed Mother. Uh, so she is there for us. So I think we, we need to uh, 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 grow in our devotion to Mary, our Blessed Mother, as, uh, as the intercessor in this special time. As uh, Archbishop Canyon was saying, we are a family. Mm -hmm. the family of God. So we need to go to uh, to, to God and to our, our Blessed Mother, uh, God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and and and, and we can have the certainty that if, with the help of the grace of God, uh, we are going to be able to overcome these challenges situations and continue to be the family of God in the world. And Archbishop Gagnon, any words of hope you'd like to leave our viewers with? Well, I I I think. Uh, Archbishop Gomez has beautifully expressed the reality of faith in hard times, how important that is. I just would like to say that uh, just a couple of days ago, I, I had a conversation with a, a woman from uh, Trinidad. And uh, I said to her, as uh, sometimes is often said these days, you know, uh, she asked me how I was doing. And I says, well, you know, we're all in the same boat together. And then she stopped for a moment and then she says, yes, and the name of the boat is Do Not Fear. Beautiful. And uh, our faith helps us to follow those words of our Lord, do not be afraid, and to move forward. So hope and faith mean everything. And uh, please, God, this consecration to our Blessed Lady of our countries and our local communities during the time of the COVID-19 will be a time in which faith and hope is strengthened. Amen. Thank you. Thank you both for, for, for explaining what's happening and for your words of inspiration today. Thank you. Arch, Archbishop Jose Gomez is the Archbishop of Los Angeles and Archbishop Richard Gagnon is the Archbishop of Winnipeg and they are both the presidents of their respective Episcopal conferences. For more uh, details or information about the Marian Consecration, you can visit the websites of of both Episcopal conferences, USCCB and CCCB. But of course, we're going to put the information on our website, saltandlighttv.org, so you can find it easily. And of course, stay tuned to our network for all details regarding this historic event that will take place on May 1st. Thank you for being with us. That's all for today. And remember, keep the faith during this time of crisis.